This video is sponsored by EA. This is the highlights from my recent tournament. If you ever get bored, just skip to the fun parts at this timestamp. Round 2 onwards show things you won't want to miss, like 20 solo fuses with grenades only, or 40 solo octanes with jump pad sniper mid-air shots only. Also, I'm giving 1000 Apex coins to a new subscriber each day. Ok, on to the video. Welcome to Merchant's Mega Mayhem Tournament. 60 players go in, only one can be crowned the champion. It starts with two slightly modified games of typical Apex with 20 teams. The top 5 teams and the top 5 highest kill players will go into the next round where it's fuse, grenades and ultimates only. 20 solo fuses, absolute carnage. The top 10 players from that will then go into Octane's jump pad jousting. Snipers only and you can only shoot whilst in midair. The top 5 players from that will then go into a trident race. The first two to get to Bonsai Plaza will go to the final, a best of 5 boxing match to crown the Mega Mayhem champion. Let's jump into the carnage. As you can see, people are going to be looting for a while. Now this is where things are going to be interesting because the ring here is going to start coming down this direction. And once the first ring closes in, this is when gameplay is going to start. So everyone's just chilling, you know, looting up, getting what they can. So we've got 23 seconds and the ring is about to start closing in. Now once the ring starts closing in, these players are going to have to start getting into the ring. And as soon as that first ring closes, that's when fighting can begin. So all of these players here are kind of going to need to think about things, right? They're going to start needing to move into the ring and think about where they're going to position themselves, right? So let's see here. Look at this. There are so many people here in Train Yard. This is about to be some scary stuff. These people are down here and they've got 23 seconds before fighting starts here. I mean, look at how many teams there are here. Everyone else is kind of, you know, dispersed a little bit, but Train Yard's about to be a battlefield in 13, 11, 10, 9 seconds. These guys are running out in the open. They realize it's a bad idea to just sit underneath these players who have already set up. We've got a Watts. Look at this setup here. Gibby, Watson, and Pathfinder setting up in the Train Yard. They've obviously played ahead of time, thinking about locations. And the fight start. Here we go. Okay, we've got players here. Team 5 pushing on this squad. They are in the same train car. There's just absolute carnage going on here. Team 16 over here is pushing. They've got Octane, Revenant, and Corsic. A disgusting combo. They're about to push down a ramp. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That is disgusting. Absolute crazy damage by the Corsic right here. Mr. Video Freak just pulling up. A ton of smelly gas. He gets knocked down, though. Crypto's in the corner just pulling things off here. Is he going to get knocked? Oh, he's getting knocked. That just leaves... Octane on his own to try and 1v1 this fight here. The Octane's also getting pressured by that player over there. Team 5 is putting a lot of pressure on Team 16 here. And good old Team 6 has managed to get out with two of their players. That was a pretty scary situation there. They almost got pushed. The Corsic Gas, you know, maybe in a different patch could have done a bit more damage there. But um, current, current Corsic's just not really causing any problems. Still got 20 squads left. Only 5 players have been knocked out of the game so far. Still, we're just seeing a similar kind of situation here. We're actually getting a respawn down here. Team 6 managed to pop a respawn here. They've got Crypto on the team, so it's going to be interesting. This ramp up player is going to have a very difficult time getting back into the game though. Let's see if we can go figure out how he is doing. Well, he's down already. <laughs> No, he's still alive. He's still alive. And he's down. All right. Still figuring out a little bit here. So it's kind of calm here. I mean, we're still seeing a couple shots. We've got Team 1 that have pulled up now. Putting more pressure on that poor squad there that's just gone in with a ton of pain and suffering through this game so far. Still 54 players alive, though. They are, they are pushing up, though. And that's it. The first team to get eliminated. They just had it all thrown their way. They really had a hard time, for sure. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We've got an interesting little engagement out here. We've got one squad sitting up on this little thing here. they got a good engagement spot on the people in Train Yard, but they don't really have the optics for it. They just don't really have the optics. It's going to be difficult for them. None of them have any kind of scopes. Whereas if we look at this team in here... Now, this is an interesting situation. Unfortunately, these two players were put together at the last second, so... They got a lot on their hand. Both got Spitfires, R99, R31. Interesting setup. We're also hearing a bit of a fight over here. Let's take a look at this. Team 2 in an engagement right here. Octane had to back out. Unfortunately, seems like Team 4 is just hunting them down. 
I'll throw one. Once again, oh, that's it. Team is out of the fight here. Uh, to pick up two, that regular ball picking up two kills. That's a pretty good going for them. What have we got going on here? Solo Team 2 player, struggling. Funnily enough, the Team 10 following just behind them. They are all piling straight in to Train Yard. But we know it's been a horrible like fight the whole time already. Let's see this tunnel right now. This th These two players are screwed. They're going to get pushed from both sides here. There's no doubt they're going to be in a bit of a situation here. That is for sure. They're holding it up though. They're holding it up. The other squad here doesn't seem to want to push. They are holding their ground. They definitely have a chance here to do some damage, but they are just kind of being held off by the squad up here. So somehow, in some weird way, the duo squad on Team 12 is just holding it out because everyone is just in this situation, you know. We've got this squad here holding them, this squad holding them, but they're going out in the open. This is going to be a very difficult situation for them now. They're definitely going to be pushed in by the ring. Someone just got a knot. We're seeing, like... Oh, here we go. There's a skirmish over here right now. Let's see what's going on. Well, there's in between a lot of carnage right here. So they've managed to take over the tunnel whilst the other team is here. I think we missed a duo team. They may already be dead. Unfortunately, we missed that bit of action there. Now, this is a good rotation here. We've got a team up here. They're potentially going to come behind the squad up already holding the high ground in train yard. This could be a bit of a scrap here. We got oh, 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 here we go. Bit of a scrap happening. Right behind them. Devo gets a knock there. Horizon now comes in. Oh boy. A lot of chaos. Oh, nice little headshot on there. That Bloodhound managed to sneak out. Nubis is 1v3 right now. Got a lot to live up to here to try and survive. We've got more fights happening in Train Yard as well. Looks like it might be the end for Anubis, and it is indeed Team 15 picking up the kills there. A full squad wipe. Now, it seems like the three squads in Train Yard are still kind of chilling. Doing a little bit of damage here and there. There is a team over here having a bit of a scrap there. Let's go quickly check over that. We just missed that fight, unfortunately, but Team 16 picking up a couple kills there. It is the Octane, Caustic, and Revenant squad from earlier. We remember they kind of put up a good fight and they're still in the game. We've got two duos pulling in here. People set up in the train carts. They've really got it good. Team 5 with the Watson pick here and the Pathfinder as well. Really good to be able to get that sort of intel early on and set up. It definitely had the right position. And you can see that damage. They've done like between them almost 1,000 damage. But the trouble is, that's only equal one kill. Whereas people out on the ground right now, they are certainly getting more action. With that to Scary Fence, getting three kills of only three damage. He's definitely put up a great fight. He's just about able to get off the bat there. Interesting situation. But he's on the ground, and everyone else has the high ground. Which is definitely going to make things a little bit difficult. Fight happening here. This poor solo player is going to get pushed. He's not going to have an easy time. And that has got to be an easy wipe there for them. Look at this squad. Team 7 picking up 5 kills already. Pretty good going. Oh, we've got a nice little kind of chill now. Going to see a lot of damage being dealt out. Three squads kind of having a difficult situation though. Sitting over on this side of the map. They're going to have a very hard time when this ring comes in. People really have got set up pretty well. And I, I think that for people that may not be so experienced with rotations, this really gives them quite a cool opportunity to have these sort of hectic endgame fights that they may not be used to. So it's definitely full-blown sweatiness here. Got 30 squads in. Wow, Team 20 getting off a res here. As you can see, they're dealing a lot of damage, but it, it, because they're all so set up, it's hard for them to really kind of... Um, Capitalize on the damage they're dealing. Fight happening out in the open here. This is definitely going to be a lot of carnage here. Fortunate for Team 19 there. Just the Gibby on his own. And he fight off a crowd of players as the ring comes in here. It's not going to be easy for them. Team 17 taking up just a couple kills. Nothing too insane. About to have a crazy fight coming here. They were doing pretty well with rotations earlier, but now they've got a bit of a situation. 
They've got players coming from all angles. Oh, what a crispy headshot there. That's going to be a lot of damage. They're in the ring. They're in the ring. Going to see a lot of action over here as these players get pushed into the ring, though. Maybe the next squad to go down. That ramp up player just absolutely destroyed. Look at that. We've got the Kraber. They're actually just reusing ramp up walls that have been down earlier. The Kraber here. What's happening over here? Okay, okay. It's so hard to keep track of this, so I hope that it's entertaining enough. We will learn as we go. Here we go. Yeah, they're pushing the squad here. This is definitely going to be a nice cleanup for them, no doubt. There it is. Pure health there. No way she gets out of that life. Oh, she got the armor swap out, I think. There it is, though. There it is. Getting a lot of heat. These poor squads over here are having a difficult time right now. Look at them. We've got a nice Watson Gibby set up. This is the same squad that's been set up in the train car the whole game. They got the positioning early game and it's paid off for them. Unfortunately, they just haven't been able to get many kills. But if they can get those placement points, that's going to matter big time. In this tournament, placement points are a little bit more important than kill points. So it's going to be interesting if they can hold on to the late game here. They are just going to be in the ring as well, which is going to be very, very good for them. They can drop down on the roof of that building there. Whereas this squad has got to move the furthest distance, which is going to be a little bit interesting for them. Everyone's sort of just peeking each other now, doing damage here and there where they can, trying to get picks. But it's a difficult situation when every time you peek, you got someone different aiming at you. You can see here a bunch of damage coming in across the board from most players. It'll be a difficult situation, sure, as this ring comes in. I'm going to be curious to see this player, this team here, who are sort of like... Okay, they've already got into a good position here. Underneath here, a really good spot to sit. It'll be interesting how this is going to play out, though. We've got this team coming in here. Um, so hard to, like, change squads that are, like, right on top of each other. We've got a fight right here. Players on top. Players on bottom. Let's see what's happening over here. Not much, not much happening really. I mean, we got a little bit of fight happening, happening. There's the horizon earlier with those crisp wingman headshots. Can she keep her team in the game here? She's got a lot of work to do for sure. She's going to be sitting on her her teammate's gas trap there, which could really help a bit. Gibby Ox coming down, definitely causing some carnage there for sure. Let's go to Team 5. They are still in the game here, still sitting up. They played this game so well, their positioning was excellent without a doubt. We have got Team 17 here just sitting here, waiting for things to try and fight and resolve themselves in front of them. That's it. Horizon unfortunately goes down after putting up a great fight. She had the aim, but the positioning was definitely not on her side, unfortunately. We've got a full squad here. Team 7. Things are looking pretty, pretty tight. And here's the Octane from earlier that somehow, despite all odds, has managed to get himself back into the ring on top of the train yard. This might be the best spot right now. Now keep in mind, we do have a Corsic on, on uh, Team 7 here. This could go well if Corsic plays this right. The fight's happening already. Look at this engagement here. Gibby Dome down. Here comes the ultimate. This could be carnage for them if they don't play this right. They're able to stay out of it though. Fortunately, that Gibby ult just didn't quite do enough. It may have been placed just a little bit early there. There's now this Gibby ult. It's going to be a bit of a problem for this team. They're going to have to push down inside. Getting a little bit closer to the action. There is a team below them right now. Still five squads remaining. Really intense situation right now. Now, Team 5 is set up pretty well. Three squads, three players left on their squad. Team 17 on their own here, now pushing into the fight. Getting targeted by absolutely everyone. Definitely not a nice situation to be in right there. Team 5 still holding the position. Despite being pushed off the roof, they're still sitting pretty comfortably right here. The horizon push, though, is going to be interesting. Things went their way. They really went their way. They managed to just sneak out of that fight, really. See who's alive. Team 1 are on the bottom now. Team 5 are in an engagement here. They've all got their own little floor here. That. 
Could be a little bit of damage. They managed to get out of it though. Really, oh, the horizon push. Very brave. This is not going to be quite it. They held their ground. Very tense situation right here. Oh, here we go. The caustic ult right at the last second. And that is all you need to win a game. What more can you want, really? Caustic ultimates, what else do you need at this point? Is he going to win it? And he wins it. Smelly boy, Caustic taking it. Team 7 is the champion of game 1, round 1. Really awesome uh, engagements there. Look at this. 12 kills right now. 12 kills on Caustic here. That's going to be really, really big for them. They've got to be feeling pretty good. A win and 16 kills across the board. Very, very impressive stuff for sure. Let's see how people are spreading out here. Got two teams just chilling here, which is quite funny to see. They've got to, like, politely divide the loot between each other. No, no brawls yet. No brawls. <laughs> you can tell here that it's going to be, yeah, I mean, what's going to happen here? What about this team over here? I'm just curious where we're going to start seeing these engagements, to be honest. Straight away, we've got seven seconds before fights will start breaking out. Everyone's kind of managed to get away from each other. I'm worried about this squad here. Um, they are out of the ring and it's already come in. It's going to be a bit of a difficult situation for them. Do they know that they have a squad behind them? That's the question. Team 14 does have Team 2 pulling up. This could be a bit of a scrap here. Okay, they've noticed that they're there. And they've also noticed it. This could be a very early game scrap here. It's a straight 1v1. I think it's Team 14 already has the... Um, they have themselves set up here a little bit. Oh, they're going for the push. Oh, that headshot mid-air. Shot her right out of the sky there. Oh, is it going to be enough to stop this push? I don't think so. I, I think Team 14's got this. Yeah, the caustic, the caustic gas has definitely slowed them down a bit. It's not going to stop Gibby picking up the knock there. There's another squad pulling up, though. Team 14 has taken a bit of damage, but that Gibby out here is going to cause some problems for them. It's not too much of an issue because Gibby does indeed have a... Um, oh, doesn't even need to use his abilities because they just stepped out. <clears throat> I think what happened there is the Horizon got knocked, but then got back up in the fight. Let's go see what's happening on down here real quick. A bit of an engagement here. Team 7 is knocking down Team 5's fences here. Are we going to see a fight? They're trying to desperate. They're trying desperately to hold on to this this building they've got, but the push is coming. We've got quite a lot going on here. They may have to be forced to back off here. The ult on top of the building was a really good play. It pushed them off of the building. I'm gonna be out in the open a little bit now. Okay. They're in a bit of a bad situation. They're kind of spread out a bit. I think they're gonna try and make it out. I think they did, but without one of their teammates. It's going to be a little awkward for them. Okay. Looks like Team 1 is sitting up pretty safely. Team 5 managed to hold things off here. Team 7 is kind of just chilling after one engagement there. Still got a fight happening over here. We seem to miss out on Team 14. Oh, I think they managed to take out the squad they scrapped with earlier. And here's the horizon they got knocked earlier. And once again getting shot out of the sky. Exact same thing, deja vu there. Got an engagement happening here. Team 20 is pushing out these squads that have tried to rotate out of solo array here. Some damage. This team is sitting up there though. They didn't really have the push there ready. Gibby Dome did come in handy though. Got some more engagements here. Team 5 has managed to hold on to their building here. They've just, they've, they've kept their ground. Watson's been doing wonders for them. Team 7 did try. They did try to push them off, but um, they just didn't quite do it. And as a result, they've kind of had to leave. They're rotating, interestingly, right out of the ring here. It is round 2. But they're going to be coming straight into the... Yeah, they've got a free building. They actually have a free building. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. I guess Team 14 can kind of just push behind them. Oh, look at this fight here. These guys are sitting outside of the zone here. 
lot of engagements happening. Not nothing like too crazy. Still seeing a lot of players trying their hardest to avoid fights. Positioning is really important here. We did see a knock over here though. They did knock these players and they're going to have a bad time. They do have a trident though. Do they have the meds to get out of this situation though? Interesting engagements here. Team 15 pushing up on players set up in grow towers. But we also have team 4 that may sneak up behind them very soon. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We have an engagement. They've actually pushed inside the building. Is that what I'm seeing here? No, they're on the roof. Okay, and they are getting hounded by the squad over here that was just holding the ring. Charge rifle. Who's charge rifling up here? Triple take. It's definitely, definitely long range weapons are going to be doing a lot of work here. A bit of damage here and there. We sink. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the squad coming up from behind. They did push up. They managed to escape down, and they managed to get out of there pretty well. We still have the Grow Tower squad, but they didn't really respond to them trying to, uh, you know, move out of their position there. So, pretty safe going forward here. They're rotating around here, trying to find a way out of the situation. It's not going to be nice for them when the ring comes in. They do have one minute to go. The squad is still holding their ground, putting pressure on here. Some back and forth little picks. Are getting pushed again. They've managed to hold this building for almost the entirety of the well, the entirety of the game. Doing a good job holding up. Like I said, I'm surprising we're not we're not seeing more defensive legends. You have the ability to sort of know where the first ring is, but we're not seeing many. And it's really doing wonders for them. Some more engagements out in the open here. But right, this might be a bit of a scrap. They've got the high ground. All they need to do is hold it. They can hold that angle together. They could get a team wipe here. Oh, is coming down against them though. Looks like they have repositioned. They have decided to back out. They're in a bit of a bad spot though. They are going to have to come back into the ring later on. So they're going to have to take that fight. They have the freedom here to sit up here without too much contestant. I mean, they got a good spot. It's definitely going to be a scrap here later on. Look at this massive just pile on of fights. I mean, people have been doing damage, but there haven't really been too many kills here. I feel like we missed quite a lot of fights on the game. A lot definitely happened all at once, that's for sure. Still holding up the ground, but in one minute they are going to have to say goodbye to their home and move on. I would say that this team here is in a really good spot right now. See how our previous team, Team 7, is actually out of the uh, the game. That first win is going to help. We're definitely going to have an engagement here. A lot happening. If, oh, they're pushing down. This is going to be an interesting little engagement here. They're going to be able to get out of this one. I don't see it happening. 3v2 already. Looks like they went back up. They're just, yeah, there's definitely going to be a fight here for sure. A bit of a scrap. Yeah, there it is. A 3v1 now. There's no way. Nice little wipe there. No problem. Team 20 is still sitting up here without too much contesting. They've managed to find a little spot here in the ring. I was not expecting that. These guys may feel hungry here to try and push this, though. They'd definitely be in the right to do so. That squad down there is not in a great spot. This Gibby pushes his ult down just after the dome goes. We could have an interesting little fight. They're holding though. They are holding it. They're not really too fussed about this bombardment coming down. It's not causing them too much concern. They'll of course have more squads pushing up behind them though. Right What's going on down here? The carnage is definitely going to be going on now. As the ring comes in, people just haven't been able to rotate out of the spot. Everyone's been pressuring each, uh, pressuring each other. Fortunately, Team 1 is having a bit of a scrap. Seems like they might be able to get out though. There's still just more and more people here causing carnage. Right. It looks like they're just holding the roof there. See what's going on up on this side of the map. Oh, a bit more of a scrap. Ooh, engagements for sure here. 
Looks like a 1v2 here. Oh, he, oh, that was a nice try by Team 15 there. They've somehow managed to... I don't know what's happened here. I need like 20 eyes to see all the engagements. <laughs> it's just fights happening everywhere. Absolute carnage right now. If you think this is the start, things are about to get even more chaotic in round 2. I'll tell you now. I, I have no... I, I've been lost to the carnage this game. Been un, unable to keep track of everything. Okay, this is where things are going to get crazy. Actually, we've got a fight here already. I think they're going to stick here, though. We've got to think about these two squads that have to come into the ring. And they've got players behind them, players in front of them. It's going to be a hard situation for them to get out of here. Gibby ult coming down, too. It's not going to be a nice story for them. They're doing it. They're holding. It's going to be an interesting fight. Ooh. Nice little shot there. But they're getting attacked already by the squad that's been waiting for them on the other side. They waited a little too long because they're going to be pushed into the ring too. Which only means one thing. The squads up here are going to have an easy pick on the squad. If they just noticed there's a scrap happening right behind them. But I don't think they quite noticed. It's Wraith. Seven kills on this Wraith. Doing really well. Let's see what she's going to do here though. She has two players to her left. A full squad above her. Yeah, she's in a bad spot now. She's going to phase right into another squad. This is not going to be nice for her. She's just realized, uh-oh, this is the end for me. Really well fought. This might just incite them to fight each other. They're going to be like, wait, there's another squad down there. They're playing it smart, though. They're playing it smart. Surprisingly, this squad's managed to just sit here. Not too much. I mean, you can see they've been dealing damage. I haven't quite managed to get any kills, though. Just one on them. But everyone that landed Solar Array had the chance to get some crazy fights. We missed that on a bit. Let's see if it's going to be going the way of the Caustic again this time. It might just go the way of the Caustic. If he plays his cards right with his ultimate, you know how nasty that can be on the last ring, even with the Caustic nerf. It's about to start here. Success. The only issue here is they are going to be pressured from both sides here. Just definitely going to make things a little bit difficult here. Team 1 is going to have to time it just perfectly to push. They're pushing a little bit fast. They still have one and a half minutes. They definitely don't need to be this aggressive. Considering there's just two of them and two full squads, they need to be the third party here. Playing it on this position. Unfortunately for Team 3, they don't really have the freedom to peek them. Because they're getting pressured by this squad who are ready for it may actually be Team 11 here that's pushed out first. Oh, we've got an engagement now. Trying to get picks, but no, no one's overextending. They're playing it very well. I, I do think Team 1's going to have a bit of a situation to deal with here. And it's going to be very difficult for them. Nice play there. And they're going to be pushed out here. It's about to get chaotic for sure. Going to be on the roof here. Corsic's down though. So that's going to be an interesting situation. He, Oh, he almost died. He just got in the ring there. He's holding the building. The ring is coming down though. Still three squads, which is quite impressive, honestly. There's a knock. More knocks happening. Another squad behind him though. Okay, they're taking down that squad. Can they finish it up? There's a 1v2 here. Fortunately for them, they couldn't quite do it. Team 3 is the champion for this game. Nice going for sure. And with that, we have the five teams going on to the next round and five extra players who got the most kills. This round, Carnage starts when Ring 3 closes. All players have enough time to collect grenades and ultimate accelerants and everyone has to play Fuse if they have him unlocked. Once Ring 3 closes, Carnage begins. Let's see how it goes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Let it begin. Seems a bit hard. Oh, you guys, yeah, you guys really have just made friends, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's getting attacked! 
<laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can punch each other. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is where things get crazy. Oh, oh. it's raining flames. Look at it. Oh, wait, what? Yuck star is coming down. Oh, he's screwed. No. Coming for the punch. Oh, he's dead now. There's no way he survives. Oh, the punch. <laughs> the punch off is happening now. I got punched out the zone. Oh, Mirage is running for his life. <laughs> oh. There's seven players left. Oh, oh, this guy's killing it. Five kills. You got the seventeen. You got him. Oh, here we go. Punch up. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh dear. <laughs> I crafted about like 20 damage off and like I just I crafted like all my evil up. Oh he got stuck. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh he got stuck again. The fuse like doesn't work. The fuse tactical like as soon as it starts blowing up. Here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is a great end. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Oh, oh, the oh. my only Who's, is there anyone on the like edge of the diving board? Because I kind of. Like... <laughs> trying to track that. Oh, we got a fight here. You know, I be oh, the stick! Oh no! Oh. No, no. oh. Who's there? Yeah. Oh, the stick again! Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. I was just I was going for the crafting materials, man. I want to craft all the way to ready. <laughs> no way, nine. Yes, and I died instantly. Oh no. Oh, he got hit. Oh. Oh, no. I might have just dc Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, the grenade. Oh, I see a few across the way. Wait. Oh, God. I'm out. I'm out. In this game, all about throwing nades at me. that who threw me? I was What's happening here? Who is that player? <laughs> Up here, right? Oh, look at his health! Oh, he's gonna die! Oh! Oh, no, I'm dead! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
Bones, grenade supplies. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, how? Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> no. Hi guys, how's it going? Main one, two, three, four, 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 <clears throat> Back at it again with no arc stars. Oh! There's another one coming down! <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I'm ready, I'm pretty sure someone took it though. Yeah, someone just joined it. Let's just go. Can anyone rest me? Oh, he's getting beaten up! Yeah, like, yeah. Oh. oh god, I think he killed himself. <laughs> oh no! That's his health. Oh! Oh no! He's about to go down! Oh! Oh Oh here comes! Oh the arc star! Oh the thermite! Oh! <laughs> just died out of nowhere! <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, I didn't get a kill. Yeah. It was Morg's mum, right? Oh, I'm on two. I, I think I'm on two. I'm on two. Oh, God. <clears throat> Why is Morg's mum getting mentioned so many times? <laughs> <laughs> Morg's mum is such a prominent member of the gaming merchant community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh! The stick there. No, that that's good though, because you've leapt your way into this tournament. So that's like i will be happy if I were you. <laughs> you you know, it's I'll leave new to... fans either way, you can't complain with new fans. Gotta grow. Yeah, and that's very true. There you go. Yeah, my little brother and mother are watching downstairs, so I hope I'll get them to subscribe. <laughs> we, we could do a res. Who wants to go res? The little brother cameo. Yeah, who wants a res? I put down a mobile. Yeah. <laughs> do, we, do we not have nades? Nades. Do none of us have nades? Just run out. <laughs> Not How about we all jump off the map at the exact same time? <laughs> I really hope, yeah, 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 yeah. I really hope that somebody one. has used zero and needs oh, and they've got like 20 one. right now. Yeah, someone's got like 5 arc stars that they've got. <laughs> <laughs> right, shout out to the man who grabbed That's what I was trying to do, but then I got, I got rudely killed I'm straight away. Didn't you think you could lie? Did you think I had a nade? I found a nade. <laughs> yeah, you can't really that box. Box. Here we go. Nice, nice. Oh, he's just gonna run at you. <laughs> this is very intense. This, this isn't very intense because no one has any grenades. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh! Oh, no! 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 Oh
Oh. Let's hit some people for four. Four? Yeah. Because I'm just getting oh. a split second. Oh. So what's your damage on? On the 5k? <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh! I got some big damage down on whoever was healing. Oh. <laughs> this feels like it would be in the trailer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not that dirty. Oh. Oh, that weapon is so close to me. It's only when we were playing the fucking character in the game. Also, I nearly hit someone while I was down there. I oh no! Vertical jump pad! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I, th I got killed. Oh, oh, I went too high. I was getting the out of bounds. Oh, I nearly hit the ground there. Yo, okay, listen, I'm sorry, alright? We're gonna need to like, find who's got the most damage here. <laughs> yeah, this was the kill. <laughs> oh my god, someone just keeps hanging me up. Stop fighting me. Mm -hmm. Arse of the charge rifle. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Monster. So cool, look at this. Wait, are we allowed to use, um, hold on, are we allowed to use it to, move, like, move and not fire at people? Yeah, the, uh, you can use anything, it's just you can only fire once after a jump pad. Jump pad, okay, right, right. So I, so I accidentally killed Monster and I used a jump pad. Oh my god. I was only just in rank before I died. I was in one HP. He's one, bro. He's one. Oh my god. I might swap to the one. What's everyone's damage of the one? Oh, I'm telling you. They've done the one. Everyone has 10 damage. It's 10. No more than 10, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my. Oh, and that's true. People are being cheeky. They think that I'm not watching them. <laughs> oh, that's a smart idea. Destroying the jump pad. <laughs> I respect. I rate that. I rate that decision. Oh, it worked off. It worked out. But there's another one right there. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I have to. Oh my god. No. I don't think I've gone no. on. No. I'm stuck. <laughs> no. Oh, you're okay. Seriously. Yeah, I killed you. I was. No, I didn't kill you. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah. I killed the guy who killed you straight after you died. Wait, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Loki can shot? I'm not yeah, I'm sorry, man. Oh, I want that. Oh, there's a damage card. It's not good. Wait, you need Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Let's not something. Oh, he's here. I've had a lot of downtime. Downtime. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I didn't know I'm alive. <laughs> Oh, the damage! <laughs> They're both just chilling. Oh dear. There's not gonna be much, uh, uh, things left. You were just gonna jump off the same jump pad in the middle. <laughs> Up and down. Oh god! I'm kinda of gutted that no one got a creeper. Yeah! Somebody destroyed the jump pads! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ow! Oh god! <laughs> Oh 
Oh god, that was great. Oh, that was awesome to watch. And with that, we have the top five highest damage players going into the Trident race, a simple sprint race from Docks to Bonsai Plaza. The first two players will go into the finals. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, good, I'm on top of everyone. Who's up in front? Oh, oh, someone, oh no! What the fuck? I find he's got a clear lead here. If he doesn't mess up, it might be his for, for the taking. Depends if they're gonna go different routes here. <laughs> <laughs> that was really unfortunate. I've literally collided and bounced off Oh, they're taking different routes here though. This is interesting. D. Dr. Sam going over here. He's still out on the lead. Oh, just got overtaken here. 17 uncles in the lead. A very neck and neck thing going on. No one's using their boosts, which is really interesting. They could have used them. Oh, fuck. oh no! Oh, the Dr. Serm in the lead here. Everyone else has fallen down. Dr. Serm is taking first place without a doubt. Who's going to take second though? That is the question here. Oh, oh no! They're struggling here. They're struggling here. Does that count, Merchant? Yes, yes, yeah, you, you did it. You are oh first. They just can't quite do it. Oh, there it is. 17 Uncles is taking second place without a doubt. That comes third as well. Made it. Oh, I think he's made it. Yeah. And there it is. <laughs> Top two. And here we have it, the last two players. Which one of them will be crowned the Merchant Mega Mayhem champion? Let's fight! Round one begins! Let's go! Like rock. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Alright, step out of the ring a little second and I'll get you healed up. Alright, three, two, one, go! Go on, dog. I'm dog. <laughs> oh. oh! Okay, so that's a 1-1 one, one so far, right? You ready? Okay, three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, this is a close one. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> nice try. Two, one to seventeen uncles. Alright, we got we got a talk plan here. You gotta play defensive, yeah. keep your arms up. Don't let oh. him jab at you. Come on, you got this. <laughs> Come on, one more round, you got this, you can do it. I believe in you. Two, one, go! You got this bro, you got this. <laughs> oh, 17 uncles is declared the champion! Yes, yes you can. <laughs> oh, GG's man. Can't get the lock on someone to him. I don't know why. Just in time. Here is your champion! Yay. Well played, well played. And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this crazy one. I know this is a bit of a long video, but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!